Welcome to the pre-talk show where we talk everything. Politics, religion, education, and pure entertainment. Make sure that you subscribe. It's the pre-talk show where everything is just warming up. Conversate about anything you share. us on your social, uh, politics, and religion, education. Welcome to the pre-talk show. Today we have Akon being exposed by T-Pain, saying that they never really had a relationship with Lady Gaga. The business was all fake. It was more for signing bonuses, and Akon didn't do a thing for the megastars that he actually signed to these labels. But don't let me say it. Let T-Pain say it. Akon has you and Lady Gaga? So you knew Lady Gaga before she was no. Lady Gaga? No. Oh, no, I never remember that. Never met Lady Wait, Gaga? You thought he knew her as Gaga? I thought I, that's what I Googled. No, uh, Akon was just signing everybody to get the um, signing bonuses. Really? You know what like you Like the label game? Fucking sign, you know what the <laughs> you, you act so surprised. You're like, oh, I'm saying <laughs> Akon signed all of us for signing bonuses, bro. And then didn't do a goddamn thing, like, the whole time. You know what a fucking signing bonus is. And you got to pay it back, you stupid idiot. <laughs> like, you gotta... <laughs> Ain't no bonus about it. <laughs> right. You know so you what and they... Akon wasn't homies? We were at the first. So he signed you as a rapper or he signed you as a... Oh, he signed me as a writer. Listen, just because somebody signs you and that they jump on social media and portray that y'all are close doesn't mean you're close, doesn't mean they actually know you, doesn't even mean you were there to be a writer. A story that I'm mean, a, a rapper, another story that comes to mind that's very similar is Kanye West. He was dying to be a rapper. They said, no, we need you to be a beat maker. You stay over there, even though he was pouring his heart out, man. Let's go to the next clip. Since we're talking about hip hop, what is up with these streaming farms? These dudes faking a stream, that guy faking a stream, well, found in China in real time is a stream factory. Don't take my word for it. Just watch. <laughs> now, I don't want no trouble. I don't want no smoke. I don't know if that was a little dirt video in that farm or Lady Gaga. This, it could have been anybody. But a lot of the numbers that you see, I think J. Cole might have been right, right spot on with this one, man. A lot of people buying their streams. It's unusual to see a streaming farm. So it's been confirmed that is a real thing. Matt Donahue has come back with a vengeance for the NBA. He's saying he wasn't only a part of the conspiracy of rigging games, but the entirety of the NBA is about rigging games. It is no better than pro wrestling. And he has some of the people being targeted by him and his cronies, like uh, Rashid Wallace, Mr. Sir Patchelot. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's getting different around here. So even the NBA ain't safe. Matt Donahue explains the rigging in the NBA. This is recent. This isn't any old school stuff. This is recent, but only on the pre-talk show. Peace. He had other people below him that were out being the puppets to the whole thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. After the scandal, within a year, okay, he stopped working for the um, Eastern District of New York. Mm -hmm. He went into a private practice and handled all the outside legal counsel for the NBA. <laughs> within a year. Now, you tell me behind the scenes that wasn't being done. Not only that, David Stern offered Phil Scala, who was the supervisory special agent for the FBI, a job before the whole thing was even over because he wanted to have him, you know, under his, his thumb. He was hoping I went to jail for 10 years and was never able to talk. Well, I told y'all, and everybody think I'm fucking crazy with the things that I was saying about Stern and all of that. Everybody thinks she's so crazy and melted. I told y'all, vindication yeah. feels so fucking great. <laughs> the only thing I'll say about Rasheed Wallace is I don't know if this is vindication. This, this actually stems upon a person who, who name is no good. His word is no good. He's been arrested. He's been caught. And all of what he's saying can be can just be spiked for the old company. Even though I personally believe him, this shit don't look like vindication. It doesn't. The, the NBA is real big. They make a lot of money. And if he's saying the pieces are moving like they're moving... 
there ain't no vindication for you, bro. It's best for you to just stay in your lane. You ain't you ain't got enough. You didn't have enough in the league. You don't have enough out of the league. My personal opinion, but I respect you as a black man. Shout outs to everybody who supported the pre-talk show. Follow up next time for, for the next news clip that we do, man. Peace and love to everybody. One. Thank you.